What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercar here on the Evolution channel. Before we start the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button. If you guys enjoyed today's content and enjoyed, enjoyed, if you guys just enjoy what you see, appreciate it all from the love and everyone. So let's go ahead and get into LMS, the one mode people can't stand. Now LMS is a mode where it is just too much for people. I'm telling you right now, it is a mode where it's, whew, it's stressful as hell because pretty much it's even though it's a pay to win game it's also luck based as well and i can understand why people are so mad with lms when everything's just luck like if you're paying money why should you deal with the luck i can understand why they're having pay money but you know if you could just pay to climb up like i think it'll be non-stop people would just be paying as much as they want and i could already see how that could be a problem but it's not a problem for cat daddy's buckets However, so we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're currently ranked 30 in the world with 585,000 points. Uh, last LMS, I got ranked 18, and that was with 1.7 million points. Uh, this LMS is a little lower because obviously it is Ric Flair. No disrespect to the man, but it's Ric Flair. Not many people see the, the value of his card, even though he is going to be an amazing card by those. Uh, if you get a good top 200 card. He will be good against heroic fulls, so. But it is more expensive compared to getting a heroic in Road to Glory and Ring Domination. Now, there's levels that people can't stand. I'm currently on one of the most hardest levels in the game, which is Arena 73. It is one of the most frustrating levels. People can't stand 73. I can't stand 73 at times. And then, of course, the first one is that people hate is Arena 47. And in this level where I am at, you gotta leave two obstacles on the board. It's bad enough leaving one obstacle on the board. You gotta leave two obstacles on the board. Now, for my type of strategy, I have a strategy I like to use. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this thing. I have a nice little strategy I like to use for this one. So, right now I have no reveals, no blocks. I'm gonna have to spend credits on this. But, you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna gladly spend some money for you guys. So, what I like to do is I like to reveal everything on the board. But before I reveal... There's 14 out of 25 obstacles, which means there's a 14, 25 chance that you can select an obstacle on this board no matter what. What I like to do is aim for all the sides. I obviously the sides are the number one obstacle base for people. I'm gonna go ahead and select, usually you need when you need to leave two obstacles on the board, I select three. So I'm gonna take three cards from the board, pick them before I reveal. If they do not get revealed, those are the cards I'm gonna stick to. As obstacles you still have a high chance of them being obstacles but you also have a low chance of them hitting it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with that side this side I'm where my mouse is top right top left bottom left those are my three obstacle choices guarantee one of those are not going to be obstacles and if it comes down to the uh, one thirty percent chance it'll be fun so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and reveal one as you can see two of them revealed my slots so i would have won that game unfortunately they revealed it already so i need to go with two new selections and now my odds are decreased so the top left is still there i'm gonna go with the bottom right and the middle now see if we could avoid so the middle also got selected now i need to come up with a new one so instead of the middle now i'm gonna go with this one on the top right as an obstacle so we have top top left bottom left and top here i'm going to click this one and that was an obstacle which is bad another obstacle bad so what i want what i'm hoping to do is avoid the divas match like the diva match can still make me lose it's very unfortunate but it can make you lose and males can make you lose if you don't pay attention so you got to be really focused on these arenas Another obstacle. I'm hitting all the obstacles early, which is bad. Uh, that top left one may not be an obstacle after all. If this guy pulls a card, all right, so we're good for that one. I would have to close out the game. I usually do not click because on blue stacks, you're a little slower. I do not click until I see the stat 100%. Another obstacle. Right now, we're getting destroyed and hitting these obstacles early. These obstacles were not played out in, in the areas of where it were in my liking. But we could still win. Anything is possible. I usually bank around a good amount of points. 
So I, we can guarantee get a couple more wins here. I just got to avoid hitting two obstacles in a row. If I could avoid hitting another obstacle here, I'll be 700-something points. So let's go ahead and hope not hit two obstacles in a row. We don't. I'm, I'm hoping to see the weak diva come out. That's not the weak one. I'm hoping not to see a 200. So I'm going to actually bank, uh, not bank on this and actually go for it because we actually have a good chance. And there you go. That's 1,000 points. And the weak diva did not come out, so we still have it for our Nia Jax in the next round. Thank God. So right now, things that were looking bad, they're looking positive. We still have two more, three more chances to get it done. Mm, and then there goes another chance. So Nia Jax and this, the, the weak diva will be here as well. I'm not sure. All right, I gotta close out because we're gonna lose that. So you gotta look at those at stats. I saw two stats where I saw Nia Jax getting beat. So guys, sometimes you just gotta close out the game and say, "Yay, it's not worth the risk." I guarantee I knew I was gonna lose that game. They were tag compatible, so I've dropped to rank 31 as well. But I did bank a thousand points, so I might go up. But someone obviously finished a level and they gained a little more points. Because here, it's not about how much points you can get; it's just getting off the levels at this point of the game. Now, sometimes I get sick of waiting and waiting, so I usually will put momentum on a card to just get rid of the process, but we won't need to because they're incompatible here, so we won't need to worry about that. So there's four cards left with three obstacles left, which is not the greatest of odds, and we're down to one more chance. And this is looking bad, and there you go. So those two top cards on the top were... Probably not even obstacles at this point, and it cost me. Like I just knew deep down, I could have won this easily, but they revealed everything I wanted, so it's unfortunate. Same strategy again: top, right, uh, right, top, bottom. Those three. I'll go ahead and buy a block because I'm gonna need to anyways. Didn't reveal. It revealed the bottom right. So none of the cards that I picked got revealed, which is I, I like the most. That's when I I know. I could have fun. I just hate that part. When everything you start clicking is an obstacle. Because then you're like, damn. And he, unfortunately, here is my weak diva. I'm going to hopefully pray that the weak diva is on the other side. Or else I'm going to be having a field day of closing out. And if it's speed or charisma, I'm not winning those matches. I'm going to be screwed. So we got speed. If it's not the weak diva, we're screwed. And it is not the weak diva, so we are 100% screwed. We need to leave three obstacles on the board now for, just because this diva match has screwed me 100%. Uh, I don't know how, if I'm going to be able to win this one. It's, it's, a, it's a long shot, but it's I have no other choice at this point because I already have revealed everything. And that's the one thing about I hate about this game is it goes off your deck strength. And I never knew a game could punish you for having good cards. I never seen that before. So if you get early pros, guys, I recommend you don't broom at this point because LMS will just eat your ass up. And now we're down to just two chances now. With all these cards left, three cards on the board. If I somehow win this by a miracle, I have no other odds. I have no other words. Like I've been through way tougher odds when I've had like one obstacle, like two obstacles on the board, and I had like thir thirteen cards left. So I've had some very shitty odds. So now what I need to do is I need to hope three cards that I selected were all obstacles. Which is possible. It is very possible. Alright. And <laughs> damn. Alright, so we're we're in the shitter. This is gonna be probably an obstacle. Nope, it's not an obstacle, but So there's the weak diva I needed and <laughs> comes out in the other round. So yeah, tippy toe back and forth with this diva shit. I really can't stand the women's matches, man. But, you know. So, I, I don't think we're going to win this one. Nah, we, we were way too much in the hole. And we actually had a very, very bad luck. So, you know, we're going to do it one more time here. And then I'll try again every other half hour for the video. Same three sides. Top right. Top. Uh, eventually, they will. Hopefully, they'll turn. And one of them turns over. We'll do it again. And another one turns over. So this just puts me in another spot. I hate this when they do that. Those were my picks. So we still have bottom, bottom, both bottoms. To be fair, I kind of want to get rid of maybe one of them. 
But I feel like both of them are obstacles at this point. Both will be obstacles. So I'm going to go bottom, bottom, middle. And that's all I can do at this point. But man, it can get frustrating at times when it reveals the card you didn't want them to reveal. Because that's, that's, a, that's a win. If, if two of them gets revealed, that's a win in my book. So I'm hoping the good diva does not come out. Uh, as one good diva. I'm hoping the next good diva comes out so I don't need to worry about the women's match unless it's a tag. Of course. So, so far we're looking good. I'm gonna go with this just because I know his good cards are gonna come out as well. Well, it was it was looking good, but even with an incompatible tag, I know he has a weak card coming out. So I'm hoping that other card is gonna be shit. And then I'm gonna, or else I'm gonna have to close out the game. So far, so good. We got Batista destroys Rhino as usual. Blah blah yada. Sure, we'll head an obstacle real soon because you cannot get this far without getting screwed. We, we beat Big E right there. All right, man. I know why people hate these levels, and because you, you can already see why people hate these levels. And that's a good diva. Thank God for that. All right. So right now we're in the driver's seat. The women's match will not affect me in this in this round, which is good. We already banked 876 points already in this round. I feel like this is going to be the obstacle. Wow. We did not hit the obstacle yet. We win that with ease, as usual. If we can leave all the obstacles on the board, that would be a blessing. Now, we're going to come into our row of where we're going to hit our obstacles now. Guaranteed. We're going to start hitting these obstacles because we can't be this lucky for that long. It is impossible to be this lucky. We still have a, about eight obstacles and three cards remaining on the board. At this point, you can't be this lucky. So we're going to hit every obstacle coming up. I skipped my middle one just in case. We need one more, I think. And we're done. This this is a pressure right now. Pressure. We win this one. We have so many chances now. We have, I don't know how many chances. It's gonna hurt if the card is one of the cards I picked. It's gonna be unfortunate. But we have four chances, I think. Or yeah, four chances. Oh my God. Oh my god. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh no, we still got one more to get. Oh my god, one more on the board. Six obstacles left. Oh man, the pressure's on, man. The pressure's on. Okay. I knew it couldn't be that lucky for long. Oh man, this is this is horrible. We you, you could still lose this. All right, three more chances. Here we go. I went with my middle piece because I figured eliminate one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. I I think I, I think it's over. Oh my god. It was the two pieces I needed. Oh my god. All right. All right. It's over. It's over. It's over. Proc. GG. GG. Whew. This mode, I swear to god, is the devil. It's the devil. Oh man, that was that was hardcore as fuck. <laughs> the dreaded level seventy three is done, and you get so much points as you can see eight thousand five hundred ninety nine points. Oh, I need I need I need a I need a I need a, a, a Kool Aid. So now from now on the arenas will be easy until like eighty seven or something like that. Uh, but my God, the dreaded level seventy three is completed. It took me roughly, I think that was try number six. I've tried a couple other times, but then I said, fuck it, I'll try to make a video on it. And I'm so glad I made a video on it, guys. Uh, as you guys can see, my strategy does work at times, but it also could fail in a miserable way for you. So, but I would try to try my strategy out if you guys feel like it could. So now I get three reveals and three blocks in this mode. So I can cruise through the rest until like 86 or 87. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this last man standing 73 arena. I was going to do another thing, but I, got the, I guess the other person really couldn't uh, attend it. So we'll probably do it another time for that. But my God, this is this is how you got to do it. And yes, it does cost you credits. Uh, this event so far has cost me 8,500. And that's because I speed it up a, a lot. I did speed up. Right now, if I didn't speed up, I probably have around 6.57K. But I did speed up at times. So I'm right now about 8 point, no, I'm a little above that, like 9K almost. We're close to 9K spent. Is it worth it? It's, it depends on the person, I guess you could say. But yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, go ahead, give this a thumbs up for passing level 73. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed today's episode. And go ahead and uh, share this video with everyone else who needs LMS tips. Like I said, guys, it does work. It could just take a long time, but eventually you'll get out of there. I promise. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great LMS.